Welcome back to Death Toll Racing. I have a really, really helpful trick. Um, it, whether you're new to wire uh, MIG welding, you're a little bit experienced, uh, or you're even a lot experienced, I'm gonna show you how I, sh I show guys how to, how to set your wire speed to match your voltage. Um, wire diameter, all that stuff varies from manufacturer to manufacturer, so that's why you'll notice that one welds better than the other, even if you have your machine marked exactly where it, where it should have been and it ran good with one, it doesn't run quite as good with the other. I'm gonna show you how to dial that in so it really doesn't matter. You can put your voltage anywhere, I'll show you how to match your wire speed to it. Um, I know a lot of welders have charts and stuff, and that gets you close, uh, but you may not know exactly how to fine tune that in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you two different methods that you can do this, um, and both of which are very easy. It just kind of depends on your scenario. So if you have a 155 welder or something like that, and you're welding anything thicker than 095, whatever, just, just basically turn it all the way up right now. Um, and, then, and then I'm gonna show you how to match that wire speed to it. So I'm gonna start off with just a 45 degree mitered piece of tubing like that. We'll just go ahead and... I turn my gas on. Let's just pack it. All right, and if you don't have a way of mitering your tubing, you can just go ahead and tack it like that. Uh, about 45 degrees, but really uh, what, we're, what we're going for, depending on the shape of your cone, uh, is we want just a nice way of holding that so that it holds the tip consistently about three quarters of an inch away, uh, a little farther than you would normally ideally be welding. Um, and, that, and that's kind of what we're going for here is a, a little bit farther just so that we can get that wire speed dialed in and you, you can actually see it. So I'm gonna throw my lens on the weld on the camera here and then we will get to set. Okay, so to start off with, That's too slow, so your wire speed's way too slow. If it sounds like that, we'll turn it up just a little bit. So that's still too slow, but it's sounding better, your more consistent sound. Now that sounds pretty good right there. And that was too fast. You see how the trouble starting? And now we're back to where we had it. Okay, this ne next little clip is overhead. Uh, warning, the video didn't really turn out very good. I did it like three or four times. I keep running down there to try. Uh, I can't get the camera to focus while pointing up. Um, I think it's the lights in the shop or something. It, it, so it's, it's hard to see. But seeing is irrelevant in, in, in reality. You're, li you're listening to it. So the very first weld I'm gonna put down, that's with the welder set the way we just set it. Um, and then we're gonna jump in to adjusting it and I'll, and I'll tell you this is too slow, this is too fast, but, but notice the light expanding and contracting uh, and the sound. So uh, that's, what you're gonna, that's what you're gonna be going for. Um, once you get real comfortable with it, real familiar with it, you're gonna just go off sound. You're gonna go and then you're gonna know exactly where it's at. Okay, we weren't going for a nice weld. We were just trying to listen to it and, and it sounded pretty good. Okay, so that was the wire speed too slow. So we need to turn it up a little bit. Okay, and that was better, but we still need to turn it up a bit. And now it's at the final setting from the last procedure that we used. And now we'll turn the wire speed up just a touch more just to make sure we got it set just right. All right, now it was too fast, so now we'll put it back down where it just was. This next little video is putting the weld settings to the test. So we're gonna go a downhill and a horizontal and we wanna make sure that those welds look the same. Um, so your, your downhill welds should look just like your horizontal or your flat welds. So uh, let's check it out.
All right, so there it is. Um, that looks pretty good. So your timing on, on your welding, uh, going downhill should be about the same travel speed as going flat, uh, and then horizontal and overhead. It all should be about the same speed, and when you have the welder set right, it should weld the same no matter where what position you're in. Um, so those look pretty good. Um, not very many people would be able to tell the difference between my downhill and my horizontal, uh, which is what you're going for. You don't want it to look different. You want all your welds to look the same. Uh, the weld is a little larger on the horizontal weld that I did there, and that's because I need to grind that flat and I needed to fill up the entire radius there. So I wanted to make sure there was enough metal in there so that I could grind that flat. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Uh, remember, hit like and subscribe and do all that stuff for my YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, we will see you again real soon. we got lots of projects going on. I have a ton of videos to edit, but I wanted to get this one out there because I've had a few people ask me for this now.